Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Cinematic Kernel SDK. In our last video, we used YouTube connector to search movie clippings based on our movie information. To achieve this concept, we use the function hooks. In the function hooks, we define the condition, what is the input and the, what is entity. If the movie is present, we are assigning the movie information to this variable and we are set, start searching movie related clippings. The idea of this video, we are not going to use anymore this function, function hooks concept. Instead of that, we are going to define the prompt. So in the prompt, we define what information or what output we need. That's it. Then semantic kernel will take care of all the stuff for us. So how to implement this feature? Let's start. Stepwise planner. The idea behind is stepwise planner. Stepwise planner will take care of all the step-by-step -step plan to achieve our challenging goals. And the main goal of this stepwise planner is helpful when you need to pick different plugins as you go and manage complicated tasks with a lot of connected steps. So stepwise planner will take care of all the steps for us. We no need to specify which plugin call first, which connector call first. So the steps completely avoided. You just define your kernel, what are the plugins available. Then you pass this kernel information to the stepwise planner. Step -by -step Wise planner will take care of all the steps for us. Here are the steps how to implement this stepwise planner. The first step we have to import what are the plugins we are going to use in our application to the kernel. The second step we have to create the stepwise planner object. The third step we have to specify the prompt. Okay, what is our query? So this information we have to pass to the stepwise planner. The fourth step finally we execute the planner to get the results. Let's move to Visual Studio. We'll start implement this feature. So the first step, I import all the plugins. I'm going to use my sample. So YouTube connector, intent plugin imported. Second step, I'm creating the stepwise planner using my kernel object. Third step, I define the prompt. So the prompt planner is a user defined function. Here I'm passing the user input. Based on that, I'm creating my prompt. So if you go to this prompt planner function, here I specified my steps. So first to find the intent, if the movie name present in the entity, search this movie information, the YouTube. And finally, I need output in this format, including the YouTube links. So here I specified the output also. So the output, there is no changes, the same output, the same YouTube links, but I define in the one single JSON file. So the I need intent and entity output like this. Plus I need the YouTube links like this format in the J JSON. That's it. So this function return the prompt. This prompt I pass to the create plan function. API is a API available in the stepwise planner. Here I'm passing my prompt planner. Finally execute the plan. That's it. Once we get the result using the Booking result is a user defined class. I deserialize reset. Finally, return the result to the calling function. So we run this application and uh, see the result. So I put the breakpoint here in this step. Start the application. Application started. Go to the emulator. The emulator. I send message. I would like to book Leo movie coming Monday at 10 a.m. I send my query to Visual Studio. Here the breakpoint has eight. We get the result. We can see the complete information. So our intent result here and YouTube links. So close and continue this one. I remove the breakpoint. Go to the emulator. Here you can see the complete result. Now let understand how this stepwise planner it works. So go back to my emulator, 
connect to my service this uh, my send uh, another message so jailer movie ticket is available tonight 10 pm i send my query so go to visual studio here the result we go to this uh, sequence kernel result go to quick watch the function result if you extract you can see the metadata the metadata contains some steps which we mentioned uh, two plugins the function name has been defined here extract intent and NDT and the YouTube search the main focus is steps taken this is a second index if you go there if you go to this value field here you can see the our prompt so the which I sent our prompt is converted to this statement like this so the first step identify the intent and entities in the provided text the function so extract intent and entity can be used for this purpose so once the movie name fi found use the YouTube to search the movie clippings finally generate the JSON format so our prompt converted to sequence of steps using this stepwise planner then based on that we get output here so just a reminder previously we used in kernel pipeline we passed all our inter, uh, all our plugins and connectors now using the stepwise planner we just pass only our stepwise planner that's it we did not specify any steps. So stepwise planner will take care of all the steps for us. Thank you.